This intercession is taking place at what was the house of Robert Rakes, the founder of the Sunday schools. And St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 19 and the 14th verse. And Jesus said, Suffer little children and forbid them not to come unto me. For as such is the kingdom of God. And from Ephesians chapter 6 and the 4th verse. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Heavenly Father, in this city of Gloucester, where your servant Robert Rakes was so wonderfully used for the forming of the Sunday School movement. And it is so marvelous that he had that concern for young children. Now it's no longer, uh, it's been taken over by what? A public house, it seems. But yet, it still bears the name Robert Rake's House. And that is something wonderful in, in itself because it is a testimony to this man of God. A testimony that he was faithful to yourself. That he heard your voice and he believed God. And by faith, he formed the Sunday School Movement, which has reached out from Gloucester to many, many parts of the world. And it is more likely that in places like Nepal, or India, or Kenya, there will be those being brought up in the nurture of the Lord, being brought up to go to Sunday school, brought up to know the Bible stories, to hear of Jesus. And I'm so thankful for what Robert Rake started. But my heart grieves for the United Kingdom and that Sunday school is no longer in the majority of taken seriously. The pleasures of this life, of, of this world, are seen as more important for children. Yet, I've read that even of recent times, there was that gathering in the West Midlands where from different parts of Britain came those to remember, to celebrate the Sunday School and for new Sunday Schools to be opened read of in Liverpool itself. And this is wonderful, this is marvellous because it shows that you are still hearing, you are still working, Father, and that the Lord Jesus Christ is being made known to young children. And I repent of the sins in the United Kingdom, which has downtrodden the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ over many years now. And that evolution instead is taught in the schools rather than the true of thy word, the truth of the Holy Scriptures, the truth of the Creator God, and the truth that you so loved the world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So repenting on behalf of the United Kingdom, and it's turning away, it's turning its back upon you, and 
the teachings of Bible stories, Bible scriptures, calling upon thee, now Father, that you will open hearts, open minds, and turn the tide to outmaneuver the strategy of hell, to baffle the strategy of hell, and to restore that children shall be upon their hearts, drawn that their parents will send them to Sunday schools, and that there will be those teachers who will give themselves to be Sunday school teachers, and that many, many young children will hear of the love of God in the, in the Lord Jesus Christ and that they will, will come, even at tender, tender ages, to give their hearts to the Lord Jesus Christ. To be able to say to him, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. There is room in my heart for thee. And it is by faith that this is now done. And it is done for your glory because it's through thy Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, that he is given the preeminence that the Father shall be glorified through the Son. Amen.